all right guys so i went to write the security pass exam and i got the results and then i passed so the passing score was 750 i got 774 uh, so um, as long as you get 750 in terms of the score that's all that matters you just need to pass it doesn't matter if you get 100 percent all right let's scroll down the exam itself was about 90 questions the duration of the exam was one hour 30 minutes and um, the questions were mostly multiple choice questions but they did have some performance based questions where they had like simulations and drag and drop options they had questions about um, how to organize the network so they'll give you different networking devices and then you had to organize how do you connect the firewall the router the switch uh, web access firewall they had another scenario where you had to analyze infected pcs so they'll give you results in terms of uh, ip addresses and you had to analyze and see which computers are infected and then they give you another scenario where you had to analyze the password uh, policies basically you review the passwords that they give you and then you have to choose which one do you think is more secure and then they had another situation or another scenario where you had to analyze the network in terms of the site survey so how would you know which section of the building has good network which section of the building doesn't have a good network so they'll give you a diagram and then you have to analyze that diagram so other things that uh, I got in the exam are things like uh, Wi-Fi security protocols. So you have to know your, your Wi-Fi security protocols. You have to know about this active and passive reconnaissance. And you have to know there's directory traversal attacks. If you don't know what this means, um, you have to go and Google or research about this. They'll give you a scenario. And then they'll ask you based on the information which kind of attack do you think this is and if you don't know what a directory traversal attack is then you're going to struggle um, answering those questions they did have one question where they had um, linux commands but they don't really go that deep when it comes to linux because this is not a linux course it's a security plus uh, exam and then they're testing you also on how to secure public websites so they'll give you a scenario of a company which has a public website and then they'll ask you how would you protect this website they'll give you different um, network devices to say please organize these devices in a way that this will protect or will protect the company public website and then you also have to know the difference between these two cross-site scripting and cross-site request forgery they there was a question where they were asking about this um, these attacks and then you also have to know encryption symmetric and asymmetric encryption you have to know the difference between the two and how it works uh, they're going to ask you about the public and private keys and how they work so you have to know the difference between those ones and you also have to know about signatures digital um, signature self-signed signature um, a signature that is distributed by a ca central authority and the one that's self-signed you have to know the, the difference between those two you also have to know about um, the sim s-i-e-m right log aggregation what does it do how does it work they'll they'll ask you a question about this definitely they won't go too deep uh, but just have a basic knowledge about sim and then they'll also ask you about this the ndas non-disclosure agreement sla service level agreement uap acceptable use policy they'll ask you definitely you get some questions regarding this and then you might get one question about um, dlp basically they might ask you how would you protect sensitive data from leaving the company um, and then you have to know exactly that dlp is one of the things that you can implement to protect the company's data you have to know also the difference between these two data in transit and data at rest how do you protect 
uh, data in different scenarios. So, and then also they might ask you something about SQL injection or DNS filtering. You have to know what this means. You definitely have to study some of these. And then they'll ask you how to uh, troubleshoot infected device, devices. How do you isolate them? So these are some of the things that I got in uh, exam. So you now you have some idea in terms of uh, what you can expect. So go and prepare. What did I use to study for the exam? I did use uh, Udemy. Um, I watched some videos on Udemy. And then I did some practice tests um, on Udemy as well. And of course, I did use my knowledge. I am in the industry, so it was um, not that difficult for me per se because some of the things I already knew. Um, and then the duration, it took me quite a while. It took me three months because I was uh, busy with other commitments. I am working full time and I'm also studying other things as well. And I'm running um, other things on the side. So it took me quite a while to finish studying or preparing for this uh, exam. But um, I finally did it. So for some of you, it, it might take like one month. Um, yeah. So you might do it in a shorter time than I did. And then what is the next phase after passing the certification? I'd say you have to do practice labs. Um, try hack me, hack the box. So remember, Security Plus is mostly theory based. There's not a lot of uh, practice labs. So try and log in on these platforms. Try hack me, hack the box. And there's others available as well. Do the practice labs. And then, of course, you have to do a job search after getting the cert. The certification alone will not get you a job. You need practical skills. Hence, I emphasize that you need to do practice labs and then try and apply for any IT job. It's not easy to get into cybersecurity with just a Security Plus certificate, even if you have some practice labs as well. It's not that easy. Competition is high. The um, companies are looking for highly skilled individuals, and it's not that easy to get those skills just from doing practice labs on try hack me and hack the box so i would try and apply for any it job and then you will get closer to the cyber security uh, job once you are within the it industry and yeah that's about it guys so um if you're pe if you are preparing for this exam um then now you have a bit of an idea of what you can expect and uh if you are new, maybe you don't have any IT experience, you've never worked in IT, you've never studied any IT course, then I would say you might have to buy a book and study that book as well. For me, I did not have to buy any book because like I said, I'm already in the industry. So I used my knowledge um, and then I used some practice tests and then I just watched those videos on Udemy. So, for somebody who's new, doesn't have knowledge, you know, you might have to get the Security Plus book. You might find that book on Amazon and other places. Uh, study that book and then do some practice tests. And then and then you can go to YouTube, maybe watch Professor Mesa and uh, other platform, other YouTubers. And then you can go and book the exam. So, yeah. Go and write the exam and uh, I hope you guys pass and I wish you all the best on the 4th of August. Let's meet live on YouTube at half past 7 p.m. South African time. I'll be showing, I'll be doing a class for data security. And uh, yeah, let's meet then. And thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.